Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some hot process bar soap in my crock pot. I have a limited space in my kitchen so I'll do the best that I can do to get this all on camera for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but first of all I want to go over some safety precautions for this video. Making soap involves using lye and water and so it is very important to use some PPE to prevent any accidents or injuries. So first of all, you want to use some safety glasses. These happen to be a pair of safety glasses that I have from my job. They're an old pair that I brought home. Um, they have the safety shields on the side. The lenses are made from some kind of material to keep them safe from chemicals. So these are perfect, but if you don't have these, because these are expensive, but if you don't have these, you can go to your local hardware store and buy a pair of safety glasses that will fit right over your everyday glasses if you wear everyday glasses and uh, just to keep your eyeballs safe because it's very important because the lie is permanently damaging and so it's very important to protect your eyes. So I'll be changing out into those glasses when I handle the lie. Also, you want to use a face mask. I'm sure everybody has them lying around somewhere. And as sick as I am of these stupid things, it's very important to not breathe in the fumes of the lye when you're using this because, again, it could be damaging. Also, if you have small children around, this isn't something to do with children around or pets. Um, maybe do it um, if the, if the kids are in school, if they're not school age, maybe they could spend some time with grandma overnight or something because this is going to take several hours to do. Um, but this will prevent you from breathing in the fumes and you also want to have a well ventilated area. Open some windows, have some fans going. And um, I have a little stitch is all I have to worry about in my house. And so he right now is in my hallway with the baby gate up to stay out from under my feet when I'm using the lie. So that's another thing. Next, gloves. I use the gloves. These are just uh, Mr. Clean brand cleaning gloves. And I like them because they go up here on the arm um, to protect you from any splashes. Um, gloves. And the only time you really need to use these is when you're handling the lie. So I have some gloves on hand. So the um, equipment that I'll be using, of course, is a crock pot. I have about a seven quart crock pot I'll be using. And I have a bowl that I'll be measuring my oils and uh, fats in. And when it comes to the containers, you wanna make sure it's either metal or plastic. You can use glass as long as it's Pyrex. But I wouldn't recommend using glass, especially if you're a beginner, because if it breaks and you have your lye solution in there, then you've got a bigger dangerous problem. So I use metal. This is 100% stainless steel. You do not want to use aluminum or anything like that because the lye will eat through it. And if it's plastic, you want to make sure that the... Uh, I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but this little number on the bottom, it's its in that little triangle thing. This is a five. You want the number to be either five or two to be lie safe. If it is not a five or a two, then it will eat through your plastic. And again, you have a problem. So um, this is my water container that I measure my water in. And I have another one that I measure my lie in. So, um, I, so along with my crock pot, Measuring, I also have a digital scale here, right here, and it's got a tear button on it. So when I put my bowl on it, I could tear it back to zero to get a measurement of what I'm measuring. Um, you want to make sure it's a digital because you want it to be at a precise as possible measurement when you're measuring. Um, it's not like baking where you would use a half a cup of this and a whole cup of that. It has to be a precise, as close to precise as you can get when you come to working with soap. So my, um, see, I think I went over all of that. When you're, when you're purchasing lye, you want to make sure that it says 100% lye on your container. So you don't want to use Drano 
or Mr. Plumber or anything like that. It has to be 100% lye, and this is a dry crystal. So if it doesn't say 100% lye on the bottle, then that's not what you need. So my soap today is going to be made with lard, coconut oil, and olive oil. And then the other two ingredients would be lye and water. Um, and optional, you can have some essential scented oil. I have some lavender that I might use today. I haven't decided whether I want to do an unscented soap or a scented soap. I'll figure that out at the end of this video when it's time to put the scent in. So anyways, now that I've gone over all the safety and the equipment, um, I'm going to get started with putting this in my crock pot because this is going to take a couple hours. Anyways, let me get everything set up and I will be back. This is a silicone mold that I got at Michael's. It's actually for baking uh, muffins or cupcakes. If you use this for soap, then you don't want to use it for food. So are these little uh, drawer organizers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I like using these because they make nice bars and the bars will be, you know, to fit in your hand nicely. And I have some plastic bags here to line these with. So it makes it easier to take it out of the mold when it's done and ready to cut. And I have two. I have a long one and I have a short one. So we're going to need 19.2 ounces of lard. These are one pound packages. So I'm going to measure this out on my digital scale. Okay, so this is 19.22, and if you come into the problem where it's 19.19, .19 and then you put just a little dab and it jumps up to 19.23, and you take some off, and you keep going back and forth, and you can't get it precisely at 19.2, with my experience, it's okay that it's 19.22. Um, so I'm just going to go with this. And also, your crock pot um should be on low and in my case plugged in i haven't plugged it in yet but yeah on a low setting So I'm going to pause this video while I wait for the lard and coconut oil to melt completely. And while I'm waiting, I'll measure out my rest of my ingredients that I'll be using the um, olive oil and the lye and the water. So um, until then, I'll be back. All right, now that the safety glass is on. I have my mask here and I've got my gloves handy for the lye part. Um, I've already pre-measured out my olive oil. I have my recipe written down. So the olive oil is 16.8 ounces and I've already pre-measured that out. It's sitting there waiting, which I'll be adding to this once the uh, solid oils are completely melted. And um, I need 18.2 ounces of water and 7.1 ounces of lye. So I'm going to be measuring the water and the lye out, and then I will show you how to mix it together. I won't be talking because I'll have a mask on and you may not be able to hear me.
my face mask just broke, so I'm just not going to breathe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't, you just don't want to breathe the fumes in, so I'm just going to probably turn my head as I'm stirring it. Um, but I'm going to measure out the lye first, and then I'll show you how to mix it. All right, so I have my lye and my water measured out. Now I'm going to mix it. I'm going to pour my lye into my water. You never want to pour the water into your lye because it will cause a volcano effect. And I think it's because the lye is going to heat up the water and it, the water gets extremely hot, like close to 200 degrees. So I think if you pour the water into your lye, then you have a bunch of lye and small amounts of water as it's going into your lye, which creates it to boil instantly. And that's how you end up with your volcano effect. So you always want to pour your lye into the water, never the other way around. So the lye is, in, in case you haven't seen what lye looks like, it looks kind of like, well, not really rock salt. It's smaller granules than that. But it's bigger than regular salt. And this is extremely dangerous. So you have to wear gloves, eye, um, face mask, mine broke. So, uh, What I've told you about lye, um, I'm not trying to scare you or make you afraid of it. Just respect the fact that it is dangerous to work with. Um, so I don't know if you noticed on camera that this turned cloudy when I was mixing it. And it also is very hot. I have these cleaning gloves on and I could feel the heat really, really bad through these gloves. So, um, but this is a plastic container, but it has a number five on it. And I've used this container before to mix my lye water and um, it won't eat through this plastic. If you don't have plastic and you're using metal, please use uh, stainless steel, 100% stainless steel, because any other metals, aluminum, uh, stuff like that, it will eat through and then it will be a bigger dangerous mess. So my oils in the crock pot, are melted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in my olive oil and stir that up and let it sit for five or 10 minutes to um, get all the oils in there around the same temperature. And then we will add the lime. I'm going to wait a few minutes for all of those oils to end up being about the same temperature and then we'll add the lime. 
And you'll notice when I add the light that this will change the color. Um, you'll see, you'll see the reaction. back the camera up so I can use the stick blender. That's at a light trace, so I'm going to put the stick blender away and put the lid on this. And as you could see, it did turn color. It got thicker. So I'm going to put the lid on it, and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and check on it again. All right, it's been 15 minutes, and I'm going to show you the changes that this soap made in that 15 minutes. Look at that. Pretty cool how in 15 minutes it thickened up like a pudding. So anyways, I'm going to uh, set my timer for another 15 minutes. Let this continue cooking. Again, my crock pot is on low in case, uh, I think I said it, but just in case uh, it's on low. And I'm going to let it sit for another 15 minutes and then we'll come back and check it again. Look at it. You have to really watch this. You have to really watch this because it does grow. That's why you have to keep coming back and stirring it. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty much done. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our molds ready. And this bag is from the produce department in the grocery store. These work perfect. This stuff, uh, I cut the bottom out so it ends up being one sheet of plastic. And if there's any writing on the bag like this, you want to make sure that the writing is on the outside of the bag, not the part that's going to be touching your soap, or it will transfer onto your soap. It won't hurt it. It'll still be usable. But if you want to give this out as a gift or something, then yeah, hold with this plastic. Silicone mold like this, like this one, you don't have to line this.
I'm going to measure out my scent oil. So I've decided I'm going to put some lavender scent oil in and I'm going to turn my crock pot off and I'm going to remove the insert and set it here on the counter on a um, towel. my soap. So I did read up on it and found that if you put cornstarch in your scent oil and mix it up, that that lets the molecules of the essential oils have something to attach to before you put it in your soap and it's supposed to help it. Um, I made soap last night trying that. So we'll see later at the end of this video if it worked. I'm going to do about half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than that. Then I'm just going to mix this up make sure it's all mixed. to be less than 160 degrees.